Salty balls. Hey, salty balls. Welcome to Hot from the Kettle. Today we're visiting Maui's Doghouse in North Wildwood, New Jersey. Maui, Maui, Mike. Maui, Mike. Maui, Mike. Maui, Mike. They're a little fond of sarcasm here at Maui. So here we are with Liz D'Antono, co-owner of Maui's Dog House. And she's going to explain to us what we have here on the table because there's a lot of food here with some names that are difficult for me to retain at the moment. So tell us what we've got. This is a forget about it. It's a forget about it. On That's a why German I put them dog. Mustard, onions, homemade chili, cheese, and freshly cooked bacon. Oh, homemade chili. Yes. Nice. It's all homemade. Nice. This is a sausage soprano, which is our Italian hot sausage topped yeah. with garlic cooked in olive oil. Wow. Spinach, white wine, deglazed. I saw him deglazing white back wine, there. Very and cool. topped with freshly grated sharp provolone cheese. And this is a veal and pork dog, oh, nice. drunk smoking horse, which is horseradish mustard, bacon, and sauerkraut cooked in beer. Oh, nice, nice. nice. What are these? Salty balls, which is a little thin skinned potato cooked in a brine of salt and spices, and then it's served with drawn butter to dip it in. So we dip the salty balls in the butter. Yes. Yeah. What could be better than that? All right. We're in the kitchen at Maui's doghouse. It is hot and tight in this kitchen. Maui, where are you? Here you are. Hello. Hello. Michael D'Antono, also corner with Liz of Maui's doghouse here in North Wildwood. We're at the griddle. Certain things with hot dogs. Hot dogs yeah. are great just for the fact that it's a region. Every part of the country has a little something that different that they think is the best. Unfortunately, I'm the, I have the best. You have the best wing. Uh, okay, I have you're, the best wing. Confident. There's certain things you don't do to a hot dog. You don't <laughs> boil a hot dog, you don't steam a hot dog, you okay. don't deep fry a hot dog. Sorry, North Jersey, you don't deep fry a hot dog. No rippers for you. Because no. all you're going for is texture, not flavor. But this is true, you're going for crisp. You're this going is for true. crisp. Right. If a hot dog is in a supermarket, in a package and has a shelf life of three months, yeah. throw it away. Because it's crap. It's crap. Now, it's, why it's is preservatives, it crap? it's fillers, Medium it's additives. Right. A hot dog should come on a rope. Yeah. It should come in a butcher oh. store by the pound. Casing. It's natural. It's natural casing. Right. It should have a shelf life of six to ten days at the most. Max. At the max. You know, back in the day, you went to the Italian butcher for Italian sausage. Yes. You went to the Polish butcher for kielbasa. You went to the German butcher for worse. Yeah. When big meat companies got involved and it went away, now it was a way for people to get rid of their scraps. Okay, go back to the old, I'm all about tradition. I'll put a ton of million toppings on a hot dog, but it's the tradition. Fresh cut fries. Brine? How do you brine. In, in vinegar. In vinegar. Brine them in Before vinegar you... and let them soak for about two, three hours. You brine them in warm water. Okay, so what you're doing is you're neutralizing the starch. You're, bring, you're pulling the starch out because potatoes, different times of the year, right now we're still in the last year's harvest. So you have a, a, a more of a, sh a residual sugar yeah. content in the potato. You want to pull it out so everything is uniform. You want the crispness, but you want it to be cooked inside. Wow. So you brine them ahead of time. And that pulls out the starch, and, get, the starch. and then you get that crisp and then on the outside. You get the crispness. You do a dual cooking process. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna blanch them at, at 315 degrees yeah. for six to eight minutes. Then you're gonna finish them off at, at 395 for two minutes. And you're gonna have. So you do the double fry. You wanna hear it. Oh, look at that. You wanna Ooh. hear it. But you're like a weenie renaissance man or something. It's all about tradition. Yes. It's all about tradition with our wine. Like with many, many steps our hot dog. Than what anyone I'm just obsessive. Yeah. I'm old man. Here we go. Our old Napa Valley singer, single vineyard chardonnay. Now, right, now tell us a little bit. Adding more to the Renaissance man mystique. You're a winemaker. Yes. Well, I, I'm a brand Jeez. manager attempting to be a winemaker. I've done one wine that we Kaylani released. Kaylani. Kaylani's the one we released. Right. This is uh, Spell Wine, which is our 
more uh, affordable wine from Spelter, single vineyard, Napa Valley, uh, from Gisleta Vineyard and Carneros. And where could they get your, your Kalon? Any liquor store in New Jersey you can get it. Just go in and ask your favorite retailer. Uh, or you can go to spellwine.com and we ship it right to you. For this Thank lovely you. time in your kitchen, in your doghouse. In the doghouse. <laughs> Alright, and this was Hot from the Kettle. Don't open ice. Put on the word.